it is very important that the surface of the tunnels should be particularly smooth in order to cope with flow spreads of up to 50 kilometers an hour. This rock fill dam is 303 meters in cross section at the base and its crest is 485 meters long. The total volume of fill is 3.9 million cubic meters with a maximum dam height of 102 meters. The cross section of the dam shows how its impermeability and stability were achieved. In the center of the cross section there is an impermeable core consisting of fine-grained cohesive soil. To prevent particles of soil being washed out over this inner core over the years, both sides of the core are protected with a fine filter of sand and a coarse filter of sand and gravel. The two supporting shells of rock ensure that the combination of the core, the filters and the supporting shells give the dam complete stability so that it can be relied upon to deflect the horizontal water pressure down to the foundation. To protect the dam against damage by wave action, the top part of the upstream face and the bottom part of the downstream face are protected with specially chosen blocks of rock which are put in place individually. Even before the river was diverted, work had started on removing all soil from the sides of the valley within the dam area until rock with a sufficiently high load-bearing capacity was exposed. Once diversion was complete, this work was continued on the floor of the valley and the riverbed. Another operation which had begun long before the Mahaweli was diverted was the driving of the grouting and inspection gallery underneath the dam. Not only does the dam itself have to be impermeable, but also the natural foundation below the base. To this end, and also for inspection purposes, a man-sized tunnel has been constructed along the entire length of the dam 50 meters below its base. From this tunnel, cement was injected into the underlying rock until it was grouted to a suitable depth. The impermeability of the grouted rock is constantly supervised by means of drainage wells. In view of the purpose to which it was to be put, checking impermeability and performing further grouting of the foundation if necessary, the cross-section of the grouting gallery could be kept relatively small. For this reason, it was not possible to use large machinery for mining it. 